All right, Todd, billing back at it again. Got a little college football content for you people, right? I know y'all out there all strung out because Murph doing primarily NFL. But I told you I'm going to come back every week, man, and give you a little something, something, right? Pause, pause, pause. But I right, we had one of our um, key marquee matchups of the early season pitting the University of Georgia against Auburn, right? One of those big games I said that I would focus on and I'll do content off of. Anytime we had the big games, man, you can expect your boy to show up with some content. So at least take that for what it's worth, right? However, I will say this, though, right? Not taking anything away from the University of Georgia. It's just like I said it was before the season. It could very well win the national championship. But if you actually watch and you're neutral about something like that, that wasn't your, your average Auburn team. That team was void of, like, high-level talent along the line of scrimmage like we're used to seeing Auburn with some dudes where you're like damn that's a potential first round draft pick I really didn't see that from Auburn definitely on the offensive line right they struggled to feel offensive linemen anyway and then they had to replace all those guys that left but even on the defensive line of scrimmage it was just a, a weird Auburn team but Georgia did what it was supposed to do to a team that's not even close to it as far as talent goes or overall talent goes now don't get me wrong there are some pieces on Auburn that will be in the NFL more, most likely this guy that I'm going to talk about right here in this rep thing, Seth Williams, my boy going against Tyson Campbell, and um, some other guys as well. But come on now, that's not the seventh best team in the nation, not even by a long shot, right? So with that being said, though, man, Georgia looked damn good on both lines, both lines of scrimmage. It looked deep, had a ton of depth. Everything you could think of, the University of Georgia, the quarterback, of course, somebody wants to talk about that. He did his thing as well. Stetson Bennett looked as good as he looked in the first game against Arkansas. So Georgia has a lot to work with there. Still a lot of questions to be answered for Georgia because I think once it sees some teams like that Arkansas team, right, that's why we shouldn't have preseason rankings. We don't know what these teams are. Just going by what they did last season to me is crazy. Arkansas looks damn good to me on both lines of scrimmage, and maybe that's why Georgia was having trouble with it in the first half of its game. So they don't have the depth maybe to compete in the second half of a game like that. But against like teams, you see what it did to Mississippi State. Put the boots to them boys, right? So, man, but I couldn't wait to actually get to this right here. You know why? Because obviously Georgia fans go to the extreme like Vanilla Ice no matter what happens. Everything is the greatest thing in the world or everything sucks like you've heard me say before. So everybody's hitting me up talking about, man, you got to do the Tyson Campbell, the Tyson Campbell. So he had all kinds of people, man, was hitting me up like, um, you even had the foreign cast and shit. Tyson Campbell. And I was like, all right, man, I'll do the Tyson Campbell versus Seth Williams. This was a great battle. No doubt about it. You can see the improvements in Tyson Campbell for sure. Got some LOL in here too. So make sure you stay tuned for the LOL and we'll dissect this right here. But this was a battle. Um, I think Georgia fans may have been going a little bit too far with this because uh, Seth Williams was in this shit too. So it was off the chain. But let's go ahead and get to it right now. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. All right, y'all, here we go. I'm not going to go in order. I'm just going to kind of randomly look for some things here. But check this one out right here. This is the one I think a lot of people were talking about. <laughs> oh, it's not even the one I was talking about. This is the LOL one. I guess we got to start with the LOL because I had it backwards here. <laughs> All right, so we'll get to the we'll get to that right there. But we see here, right? You got a rhythm step by Seth Williams. I don't think of Seth Williams as some type of dope route runner by any stretch of the imagination. Kind of reminds me of the Brian Edwards kid that was at South Carolina who was making waves in the NFL during camp season who's going to be very good. I think Seth Williams is going to kill it in the league for sure. But Kind of gave him a cold approach really off the line of scrimmage. Didn't use the exact hand that I try to say on every damn video here to the correct shoulder pad. Left hand to that right shoulder pad just to get yourself in position. Now, you don't need to hold it, right? That's just going to allow you. That's just a range finder. That's all it is. You're using that as a range finder. Then you want to decrease the space just like that right up in his hip pocket, right? Dig the hips. False. So then, but this is what I don't like from Tyson Campbell. You you get right up in it. You got great position and everything. All you have to do is turn to the outside and run the route for him. But he turns back inside. And what is this? Why turn back inside? Somebody has to tell me why he keeps doing this. Why, why is he turning back inside on this one? Right? Ball was overthrown, so really was no play on there. But look, that's what happens, man, when you lose. <laughs> we, oh, shit. What is this? <laughs> Come on, man. He's got his thriller, his, his smooth criminal lean on and shit like that. And then, bing! He got binked. 
Like, like I don't know. For some odd reason, he looks like he's already asleep. He sleep because he used the wrong technique, right? That's the cornerback guys. The cornerback guys slept that man. And then he get binked. Get binked, and then he get fertilized, and he's sleep. He's out. Look at him. Cold sleep. Ah, man. So the rest of that shit, right? He was on autonomous driver. The car was operating itself because he was no longer in control of the car. So he's done. The cornerback guys got him. Seth Williams was frustrated and binked him in the back of the head. He has a little bit of a mini concussion. Let's be real. But check this rep out. All right, so this is the one I was talking about here. You see them work hard. That was hard. It was on second and one, too. So probably definitely wasn't expecting that. Man, let's go closer to that one. I got to say, this is the best rep he probably ever took in, in his two years in college here going into his third season. All right, same as before. You got the varied approach here with the rhythm and the outside approach taken by Seth Williams here. Now, look at it from Tyson Campbell's standpoint. He's patient in this pedal, patient in this pedal, almost just kind of a shuffle step just to get himself in position, boom, turn and flip the hips, then get aggressive in the drive phase of this. Seth Williams is already tracking and locating. So he just needs to decrease the space, get in his hip pocket, dig the hips, and then turn and be the receiver just like him, which he does to perfection. Turns to the outside this time. Didn't really need to do this, though, with his left hand right there. He could have very well been called. It's like he does a lot of things well, but then he still has some stuff to work on there. But, um, yeah, they could have arm called that arm bar or something like that. It's just unnecessary. He's running this route for Seth Williams. He is the receiver in this situation, and he's using this hand right here. He could probably have both hands down and maybe pick this off. He's in great position. And boom. Dang, look. <laughs> Dang, it's funny when you put something in slow motion, he didn't actually touch it. This is Seth Williams' hand here. So Seth Williams couldn't really get his hands up there to corral it right there, and it just kind of goes off his hands. Seth got almost both hands. Yeah, it just hits on his fingertip there. But he definitely impeded. His vision and everything. He ran this damn route for Seth Williams. This is his best rep that he's taken at the University of Georgia against a high level competitor here. This is hard. That's how you do it right there. So that's probably what people saw the rep before this one. Um, it was a it was a good rep. I didn't like the ending to it. It didn't have a happy in, a happy ending. Um, but this one right here definitely had a happy ending to it, and uh, he did real good on this one, right? But to me. Just for the Tyson Campbell, right, this works in his wheelhouse. Seth Williams is not faster than Tyson Campbell. I don't think there's nobody in the, in college football who's just flat out faster than Tyson Campbell. The guy can run. So these vertical routes he's going to do good on. I want to see him do good on routes with transitions to him. All right, here's another vertical rep, back shoulder throw. Now, this is another one right with him turning to the inside. Why not be right here? Just like you were in the, in the last one, I'm not sure how they got to this particular point. They didn't show a good replay angle of this one. Of course, it's ESPN. They don't do that type of stuff. They don't know anything about them good replay angles. But if he's right here, turns into this, this is another one he may be able to get himself an interception. But he turns inward on a back shoulder fade here. And look at this. Way too much stuff, right? He's c clearly holding. So he's holding the man's jersey. He's holding his arm. He's holding his arm in his jersey, right? It looks like it looks like me and my wife at, at the wedding time, shit like that, right? Going down the aisle, you know what I'm saying? After after the ceremony and stuff. It's, this is weird. Like, why do this? And he still misses it. Seth Williams catches this shit with one hand. That's hard. That's a man's rep right there. This man did everything, fouled you. They didn't call it or anything like that, and you still caught the ball. This is why this this is why Seth Williams is special, man. I'm telling you, somebody need to get this cat in the first round. Some of these New York teams, right, the Giants or the Jets, both need Seth Williams, right? They should share him. False. All right, upon further review, ESPN did give a great angle of this, right, the best angle, period. So we see him here, Seth Williams, in a slot. So he has a two-way go, takes an outside approach, Campbell looks like he's doing the, the, the two-hand thing, switches the one, could get himself into position right here, right? Decrease this space, and then use the sideline as your as your friend. If they if he has a throw to him, he has a throw to the outside shoulder, but he stays on the outside, turns inward, and then he's kind of at Seth Williams' mercy. It becomes an angle thing then, and he's unable to compete there. So, I don't know, just bad technique there. All right, yet another vertical route here. So 
Uh, Chad Morris offense, I don't like it, man. Way too much going vert. Like, let's develop something first and then go vert if you're Chad Morris. But, hey, who who are we to tell Chad Morris? He knows more about football than all of us combined. But I just thought it was a weird game plan. But here you go again at the top. Bang. Got him. Oh, more inwards turning. More inwards turning. And look, now it's a penalty. Look at him. What's wrong with Tyson Campbell? He's got the one hand ball, Lucy. He got that thing going on there like you don't know what happened. Like, come on. That's frustrating right there. All right, you see him at the top here. Now, once again, the same type of thing, right? So he got to defend the same route. So by the end, he got it. He finally got it, right? But right now, this is at the beginning of the game, so I went backwards. You see him decreasing the space. He's right on it. This is perfect. Just like that last rep um, at the beginning of this content item right there, right in his hip pocket, but refuses to turn and locate, refuses to track the ball. And look, Seth Williams trying to work back to the ball because it's underthrown, but he's not tracking. You got to let him work back to the ball. He finally tracks, but it's too late now. He's hugged up with this man, right? He hugged up with him like, you know what I'm saying? That's that that's that prison work. Giving him that prison work for no reason. The freaking his technique let him down. Right? He had that perfectly technique let him down. Gave that man a free 15 yards or whatever. Terrible, man. Just terrible. All right, here they are again. This time working the slot. And this is what I think Tyson Campbell's gonna struggle with. Or at least at this particular point. At hard. One more time from this particular angle here. Two way go. Tyson Campbell being patient. Now he hit him with the dead leg. Not even nothing special about this like we would see from a Jerry Judy or Mari Cooper or something like that. And it still got Tyson Campbell, right? Tyson Campbell starts socially distancing. <laughs> That's some good social distancing, right? Then he's like, you know what? I don't want a social distance no more. Then he's like, you know what? I think I want a social distance one more time and let him go. <laughs> Come on. Let's see this from another angle. All right. Back here again. Now, Seth Williams here. Now, look, nothing special about this. Just kind of hit him with the dead leg. We've seen people uh, aggressively attack these type of tra route transitions much better than that. And he's still got a ton of separation off Tyson Campbell with that. Tyson's definitely going to have to improve there. Look at the line. <laughs> that line is tumbling, tumbling, stumbling. Boom. Great product placement by Bo Nix there. Now, I'm not sure what Tyson Campbell tries to do here. Seth Williams is strong as shit. Look at that. Tries to drag him down by his jersey and then just slips off of him. He's a strong dude, man. He's got that T.O. in him. Like it. All right, the last one right here, they didn't give a replay, but um, it's a sharp slant by Seth Williams. Uh, ooh, oh, I wish they gave a replay. Tyson Campbell bit hard as hell. Let's see if we can get close to it. Rhythm step, jab to the outside. Look, you see if you can see that right there. You can see by um the the direction of Tyson Campbell's legs compared to uh, where Seth Williams is going. And he bit like you wouldn't believe. Look at that, he's still going. But he does a great job of getting back into it. And he actually ends up being pretty much right there. And Seth Williams has to make a spectacular catch for all of four yards. So. He was competitive with that route, but it was still a win by Seth Williams there. So, all right, man, there you have it. Let me know in the comment section who you think won this particular matchup. Uh, it was a fun matchup to dissect. Uh, props to Tyson Campbell for taking the challenge. He didn't necessarily shadow him, but then it looked like he kind of shadowed him. It was weird. I don't know. I, I had to look at it again and see if they were playing boundary or feel or something like that. But he did end up going against... Um, Seth Williams for quite a few amount of reps. So I always love that. Better than them people, they see somebody like one or two reps and be like, I shut him down. Y'all saw me? I shut him down. I'm like, dude, you saw this man one or two snaps and 80 snaps. Fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? But with, with that being said, man, let me know in the comment section and um, uh, we'll get to some more here. Some some real good ones coming up here uh, pretty soon too. I can't wait to see Alabama and Georgia and uh, see what Bama's wide receivers do against guys like Tyson Campbell, uh, Tyreek Stevenson, and uh, some of these guys. They have Eric Stokes, DJ Daniel, and them boys is loaded over there too with Devontae Smith and Jalen Waddle and John Mechie. Going to be pretty cool, man. So we shall see. But until then, holla at your boy, man. Peace. What more can I say? Top billing. Top.
Feeling.